Well, hey there, everybody. Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. I have an extremely unique knife here that maybe isn't the prettiest knife in the world, but I think might be a very functional knife for some of you out there. What we're looking at here is the Milspec Monkey in collaboration with K-Bar Knife 001. <laughs> Very simple name, not a lot of thought went into that, but uh, I don't think it needs a lot of thought. Um, so that's what we're looking at here today. Millspec Monkey is a company that reviews a lot of gear, but they also partner with other companies uh, to produce products. They, we recently did the Millspec Monkey in collaboration with Tactical Tailor um, Adapt Pack. That's what we did recently. So this is another design. Millspec Monkey designed it. They sent the design over to K-Bar. K-Bar said yes, and K-Bar produced the knife. So, uh, you know, K-Bar, K-Bar makes some pretty good products, and we're very pleased with a lot of the products that we see from K-Bar. So what we have here today, guys, is really a, a tactical um, self-defense knife that can do some utility tasks. That's really what this knife is. Uh, and that's why I'm shooting a lot of this around the house. This is not a, a, a wilderness blade. If you're looking for, you know, a, a th about three and a half inch to four inch, you know, a survival bushcraft knife, this is not the knife for you. This is very clearly thought out as a tactical blade to be able to, you know, use it in self-defense tasks and to do a lot of utility tasks. So today, I'm just gonna do a lot of tasks here around the home. I'm gonna do a lot of, you know, rope cutting. We got seat belt that we're about to go through here in a minute to see how, you know, this holds up against, you know, if you're in a Humvee and you, know, you gotta cut your seat belt real quick because your, you know, uh, vehicle flipped over. Uh, we're gonna do lots of stabbing tasks, lots of cutting tasks. I will put this knife through a few wilderness tasks. I'll do some batoning and some carving, not because this knife is designed for that. It is not, I wanna say that again, this is not a RAT, you know, three or an SE three or something like that. Those can do a lot of those other tasks. This is purely a tactic knife with some utility applications as well. That's what it's designed for. But I will do it baton through some wood and do some you know feather stick making purely to test out the edge for edge retention as well as to test out the durability of the knife through the through the batoning tasks, not because it's designed for that. But uh, that's what I got. I don't have a lot of you know weird material to you know try and break through. Um, we'll do as much as we can to kind of give you a good idea of what this knife has to offer and its capabilities, guys. And uh, I'm not gonna do you know my normal you know likability scales throughout this video because this is just such a unique blade again it's so different and really has only one thought you know in one track mind of not being a bushcraft or survival knife this is a tactical blade so uh, i won't do my whole likability thing i'm just going to show you the pros and cons of this knife as we go through and review this blade so guys uh, that's what we're looking at here today let's go ahead start giving you some specs start using this knife and really show you what this milspec monkey in collaboration with kbar 001 knife can do for you all right, so let's go ahead and look at some of the specs here on this knife. Now, this is again a collaboration with K-Bar, and what we're looking at here is an overall length, when we bust out the tape measure, of eight and a quarter inches with an actual cutting edge of three and a quarter inches. Now this has, from what I can tell, a saber grind. It is Tanto, which is real nice there. And uh, I did a little bit of work on the relief edge. Came pretty sharp out of the box. Uh, it is high carbon. It is made out of SK5 steel out of Taiwan. So this is a foreign produced knife from what I have read on the Millspec Mon Monkey website. When they were collaborating with K-Bar, they realized that it was gonna take a lot more time, uh, a couple years, I guess, or something like that, to get this produced here in the US, and they wanted to get it out. And from everything that I've seen, SK5 steel, when done right, and Taiwan seems to do a pretty good job with that, uh, is very similar to 1095. Now, I wouldn't put it on the Crovan level uh, like that K-Bar uses, but your average 1095 that you're gonna see in a lot of products is very similar to the SK5 steel, and you're not gonna notice a difference in its you know, edge retention and uh, quality, particularly on this blade. So just something to note there, Taiwanese made with SK5 steel. It is a quarter inch thick, so this thing is a solid beast of just one piece of steel with the paracord wrap. And you got that unsharpened swedge right up here to help with the penetrating. Real nice there, very strong tip, very, very strong. Good quality there. Now the weight with just the knife is uh, 8.6 ounces, and then with the sheath, it is 10.6 ounces. So good and lightweight there and very manageable, not only on a rig, so it's not gonna take up not only a lot of space, it's not gonna take up a lot of space, but it's also uh, gonna be pretty light and you're not really gonna notice it when it's on your person. So those are just some of the basic specs for you guys here with this K-Bar MSM Knife 001. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about this knife a little bit and really the thought process of why would you be purchasing this design and this knife? You would be purchasing this, and this is what it's really gonna excel at, is tactical slash utility use, and that's it. 
This is not a wilderness knife. This is not a bushcraft knife. This is not a survival knife. This is just too short, too stubby, and does not have the right angles and design to do bushcraft style tasks like this knife, this K-Bar BK-16. It's totally different blades, totally different philosophies, and they're not even designed to fulfill the same task at all. So that's the first thing. So if you're looking for this knife and you're like, oh, maybe I'll carry that on my hiking and camping trips. There's no reason for that. There are literally thousands upon thousands of other knives that will do a much better job than this knife would at those type of tasks, making feather sticks, making notches, making traps. Now we've put that through this knife through some of those tasks, batoning and splitting and carving and whittling just because I don't have ballistic dummies to stab. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of do more of how is this edge performing? How is the edge retention? How is the durability as I you know crack it through wood and stuff? But that is not what this knife is designed for at all. It is designed for tactical and utility use. And as I have gotten to know a lot of people in law enforcement and in the military, not only through this channel, but just through my acquaintances and getting to know people, um, I have really had a chance to really talk to them about knives in particular and really ask them, hey, what are you looking for in a fixed blade? And what has almost to a person come back to me is they are not looking for huge you know, knives anymore. Maybe in you know, uh, World War II, Vietnam, that was a more practical usage because you didn't have uh, guns that were maybe as reliable or you didn't carry as much ammo or they you know, fired a lot slower and you were in a lot closer combat and close quarters than you are oftentimes to in today's world. And uh, talking to many of my um, buddies and my friends and people that I know, they don't, they're not looking for BK sevens and the original K bar, you know, that was carried throughout World War II, you know, and SE sixes. Those are just really big and they rarely would carry them. They would purchase them thinking that's what they wanted, but when they would actually get there, they would either prefer to have water or ammo instead of that, those knives, because they take up so much space on their rigs and on their, you know, uh, uh, person and the weight. So they're always looking for short, um, tough, durable, tactical, thought out blades. And that's really what I believe this Millspec Monkey and what Millspec Monkey in collaboration with K-Bar has done. They have pro produced a knife that's short. It's not gonna take up a lot of room on your rig. You can see here, this is just a simple plate carrier. It's the length of this plate carrier right here. That's gonna be able to hold you know, that type of stuff. And uh, it's gonna be very thick at that quarter inch thick, so it's gonna be very robust. Got huge amounts of jimping and thumb ramps and good grip there. So I am locked into place. So if I'm stabbing and using that knife in that capacity, I am locked into place. And then again, very thick and robust, nice unsharpened swedge there. And that Tanto design is gonna allow me to stab and slash and pry. That's really what this knife is designed for. And if you're not doing those three tasks with this knife, there's no reason to own it. But if you are looking for a knife that's gonna be small, compact, portable, not gonna take up a lot of room, it's gonna be under 10 ounces, and just gonna give you a lot of capabilities in that tactical utility realm, I really think that Millspec Monkey in collaboration with K-Bar has really done that extremely well with this knife and really hit kind of a, a niche that a lot of people in law enforcement and military are looking for and that there's just not a lot on the market. There's a lot more knives that look like that BK-16 than look like this knife and that are gonna be able to handle the type of uh, abuse and format that you're gonna be wanting to put a knife of this style through. So guys, I really think that this is a really good design for that type of philosophy and that type of usage when you are looking for a small stout fixed blade for law enforcement or military use. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the ergonomics. And that's a really a huge part that plays into this um, Millspec Monkey knife. Now, this has a paracord wrapped handle. It does not come with handle scales. So that is something to note. If you're not a real big paracord wrapping guy, you may not like this knife. But I'm not a huge fan of paracord wrapping myself, but I'm actually very impressed. They've really weaved this well. It's very thick, very wide. I wear large size gloves. You can see there. It's gonna fill out my hand really, really well and give me a really good solid lockup with my index finger around that guard and around the neck and then fill out the other three fingers around there and really fill out my hand well with these large size hands that I have. So that, for a neck knife that, or excuse me, for a paracord wrap skeletonized handle, it's not bad at all and one of the best I've seen. It's gonna really fill out your hand well and that paracord is also gonna give you really good traction and really good grip, even with you know leather gloves, um, mechanics gloves, you know, tack gloves, whatever you're using, you know, if you're running and gunning, you're using, you know, your shooting gloves, this is gonna give you really good grip and fill out your hand really well. And you can see there, I still got plenty of room to spare back there on that spare back pommel right there. 
Now when it comes to the lockup, because again, this is a utility tactical knife, you're gonna be using this mostly for stabbing. You really wanna make sure that you're not gonna be sliding up on the blade and really cutting yourself and damaging your hand. So that is what's very important and they've really designed this knife really well. You get this really good hook right here that holds my hand really nice and secure into place goes right and contours right around my index finger there. So my hand is not wanting to slide up when I did all the stabbing tasks. It really locked me in really well. I am, I am not worried at all, regardless of what type of gloves I'm wearing, barehanded, whatever, I am not gonna slide up and cut myself on that blade. And the other thing is the thumb ramp. Massive thumb ramp there, really good set of jimping you can see here, so that when I'm holding the knife naturally like that, it's not too aggressive and too steep where it's hard, starting to hurt my finger, but it just feels great in my hand, locks me into place, so boom, I'm able to get a really good stab in a natural grip or in a reverse grip. My pinky is locked into place. This ramp right there, again, cups my palm and right in that little soft spot, and I am locked in, ready to go. I am not gonna lose this knife is what I'm trying to get at. If you're stabbing somebody, it's, you're not gonna accidentally slide up and cut yourself and hurt yourself. The final thing is there is this little row of jimping right here. I don't really know what that's for. You're definitely not gonna try and choke up and cut like that. It's very uncomfortable. Um, so I think that's kind of unneeded. There's no real reason for that. But other than that, I mean, an amazing lockup for a paracord wrapped handle, one of the best and one of the best tactical grips that I've seen on a knife. And then finally here, before I forget, you got a nice little pommel back there as well. You got two spare lanyard holes, so you could do a separate lanyard to keep it on your hand as well if you wanted to do that. There's some jimping there so that when you're holding it in that reverse grip, you can put your thumb right there and you're really locked into place. Or you could definitely, with that nice thickness on the handle, get some really good pommeling in, non-lethals, or hammering in you know, tent pegs or different things that you might be doing or having to use this knife in a tool format it's gonna definitely do that. So great thought out overall for, again, a paracord wrapped handle, very pleased, very professional, very well designed for a tactical utility blade. All right guys, I wanted to show you the sheath here and kinda show you the pros and cons of it. Now, um, it ha it's made out of um, a plastic material, you know, not Kydex, it's some sort of molded plastic, similar to a lot of other K-Bars, other products. And you get lots of lashing points all along here, which is great. You get a nice little drainage hole, that's very good. They come with two molly tabs as well, so you can lash this through all of your pals webbing and on your chest rigs and plate carriers and you know assault packs so that's very good so the, all of the attachments are really set up well the other thing that's great also is that because the the philosophy of this knife the idea of this knife is to be a tactical slash utility knife it is set up so that if you grab the knife and you do that push off the knife is set up and ready to be used and deployed in a self-defense you know format immediately there's no walk up we see this a lot with other tactical knives where you know the the sheath is designed in such a way you kind of have to hold the knife back here then you pull it out and you got to do this weird walk up and you can't use the knife immediately whereas this one is not the case you grab it boom you're ready to use it regardless if it's in that natural hammer grip or in a reverse grip boom i'm set and ready to go now the thing to note with this that i'm not I'm not sure about. I have not seen any problems with it, but I just got to note this for you, is that there is not a lot of retention in the sheath. Now it's silent. Those are just the Molly tabs, you know, flopping around. So that's great, very silent. I like that a lot, but there's just not a lot of friction because all I have to do is barely, barely touch that and boom, now it's out and can be deployed. There's not a, a really snug click and gr that grabs the knife really well, I barely have to push off and it's coming out. So I don't know if I would carry this in a vertical with the handle facing down um, set up. That's just something to note. I just want to point that out initially. Again, it's not crawling out. I've you know done all sorts of different stuff trying to get the knife to come out and it will not. So that's good. But it's just something I got to point out to you guys in your purchasing that I don't know if I would carry this vertical because there is very little resistance to have to get the knife deployed. All right, guys, got to wrap up this uh, video for you on this knife. Now, I know that, again, this is not the maybe the prettiest knife in the shed for sure. There are a lot more, you know, aesthetically pleasing knives, but I think the utility of this knife really stands out, even though it is really ugly. It, it is just so unique and it's just really thought out. Millspec Monkey really thought out the design, uh, and I think K-Bar has executed it well in that idea of just being a super stout blade that really has only one task in mind to do stabbing, slashing, and some simple utility task that's it I think that it really has uh, set itself up to succeed in that format uh, it's gonna be very tough durable I mean it literally is a slab of steel with some paracord on it that is you know designed in such a way that you can really have a good grip on it regardless of how you're gonna be using it to do either self-defense or utility tasks now the downside for me really is um, kind of the price point I think pushing 60 bucks shipped is a little high 
for a Taiwanese made knife. I would have liked to see this more around the $50 range shipped. I mean, it's not a big deal, but uh, yeah, I, I just would have liked to see it a little bit cheaper because it is literally, like I just said, a slab of steel with some paracord on it. That's it. Um, you know, and obviously a lot more goes into it than just that. But, uh, you know, it's not that difficult to, once you get the idea, to make that happen. And again, if it was U.S. produced, I could totally see that price point. I'm not really seeing it with the Taiwanese produced um, uh, steel. So that's really my, my only complaint or, you know, be, and that's nitpicking guys is, is the price point. So other than that, guys, I, I'm really impressed with how this has performed. And for the first knife that Millspec Monkey has collaborated with K-Bar on, I'm very impressed. So guys, uh, if you like the design, I'll have a link in the description below to Millspec Monkey's website where you can check it out. Uh, I know that sometimes they're out of stock. Millspec Monkey's stock kind of fluctuates. So if it's out of stock, just, you know, just be patient. It'll come back in. And uh, if you're wanting to get your hands on this sucker and uh, begin to test it out or possibly you know put it in one of your uh, kits or in one of your deployment rigs um, you know uh, it, I think it's going to perform very well for you so thank you so much for checking out the channel for watching this particular episode of Gideon's Tactical I hope it has shown you a new product and uh, kind of pointing you in the right direction and helped you make a good purchasing choice when you're spending your money on a blade particularly for tactical and military use um, as always please check us out on Facebook Twitter all the relevant social media please subscribe comment like share this video and as always remember to stay equipped stay prepared We'll see you out there.